Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing Magic Bus from Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. This will be a very familiar box uh, for a lot of people. Diamond Art Club are very, very well known um, in diamond painting circles. They uh, have been uh, producing diamond paintings for uh, quite a few years now and they send their kits out in these very distinctive boxes. They don't wrap them in polythene, uh, they come like this so people can see the Diamond Art Club logo, uh, diamondartclub.com, uh, Instagram at Diamond Art Club, Facebook Diamond Art Club. So everything is Diamond Art Club. So the box is very sturdy and we have the logo on two sides. Um, I noticed with this one uh, the delivery guy must have got bored and started to colour this one in. It's very artistic. But the thing is the diamond painting isn't in this box. There is a box within the box. So we'll have a look at that. And uh, I'll just get the scissors. Hopefully they, they manage the sellotape. So as I said, uh, Diamond Art Club are very, very well known. They have a Facebook group. Um, to join the group, you have to have already purchased a Diamond Art Club diamond painting. So everybody in the group owns at least one Diamond Art Club and they only allow pictures of Diamond Art Club uh, artwork. So they are a pretty exclusive group. Um, everybody is very passionate about Diamond Art Club but um, it's, a, it's a good group. Uh, a lot of uh, fun, a lot of good humour as well but the main thing is a lot of help. Um, everybody is very keen to help uh, newcomers with any advice that they may be looking for about different things. <coughs> so um, if you do buy a Diamond Art Club uh, diamond painting, make sure you join the Facebook group. Um, I think it definitely would be worth your while. So this is the box proper. Very nice box very sturdy box as was the outer box so the chances of these getting damaged is very slim um, I'm not saying it won't happen I've seen pictures but um, I would say most of the time they will arrive like this uh, in perfect condition now this one has square drills and I know that because the blue square I don't need to read anything um, if it had been uh, round drills it would have been a pink circle so square drills for this one and we have a thumbnail so you can see there it is called uh, Magic Bus by Howie Green. All of Diamond Art Club's kits are licensed artwork and um, the, the artists work with uh, Diamond Art Club so um, they get credit and obviously they will get royalties. So. Um, Everything is up up and above board and the artists are quite heavily involved so that's that's really nice. So this one is square drills as I said. It is 22 inches by 31 inches or 56 centimetres by 79 centimetres. And this is the thumbnail. It is extremely colourful. Um, as soon as I saw this um, I knew I was going to get it. I like colourful diamond paintings and this one looks like it's going to be the most colourful one that I've ever done. But when I looked at the, uh, the picture of this one, the very first thing I thought when I saw it was Hippie Trippy Tea. Now I'll explain that. Years ago, and I mean at least six, maybe eight years ago, my wife and I were in a tea shop 
in Copenhagen. Um, it's like an old styly tea shop. It has hundreds of types of tea and all these little boxes and things. And it's, we went in just looking, just curiosity, nothing else. And I saw this tin of tea and it was the, the tin that caught my attention. Again, bright colours. And I saw it and I thought that tin looks really cool. And I went over and I read the name on it. Now, as I said, this was quite a few years ago and it stuck in my head, Hippie Trippy Tea. When I saw this, the first thing I, I thought about was Hippie Trippy Tea. I had totally forgot about that shop. So I actually went into Copenhagen a few days ago and I went to that tea shop to see if I could find Hippie Trippy Tea. And I did. But it isn't called Hippie Trippy Tea. That was what had stuck in my mind. Maybe it's what I thought it should be called, but this is it. I actually went and bought a tin. It's called Happy Hippy Tea, so it's not Hippy Trippy Tea. But you can see the tin is very, very brightly coloured. And that, that was what caught my attention. And then the name sort of made me laugh, but when I read it, I must have thought uh, Hippy Trippy Tea would be more appropriate. But anyway, it's Happy Hippy Tea. So this is the very first and possibly the only diamond painting that made me go out and buy tea. So really cool tin. Um, it probably will end up as a feature in the background. Um, got a little logo on the top. Look good, smell good, taste good, feel good, organics. Little smiley faces. So very happy. Very nice tin. I haven't opened it yet. I'll, I'll do that some. In fact, I might drink uh, Happy Hippie Tea while I'm working on this one. So that was the story about the Hippie Trippy Tea that actually doesn't exist. So we'll get back to the diamond painting. So, as I said, nice, very sturdy box. Uh, we've got a QR code to scan. It'll unlock a 10% discount. And on the back we have basic steps on how to diamond paint. We have a list of contents as well in three different languages and uh, as I said a lot of people will be very very familiar with these boxes but um, the main thing is getting inside. I'm really looking forward to seeing the colours in this. I mean Diamond Art Club drills are very bright um, but this one looks like it's just going to be something else. If I can get the, um, there we go. So here we go. We'll open it up. Take out the tool bag first, the tool kit, can you feel it? There we go, so this is the new tool kit. I know that because it's the yellow bag. Um, the older kits are sort of semi-transparent and you can see what's inside them. The new kits have some extra bits and pieces uh, I'll talk about in a minute. But we'll have a quick look. We get a little sticker for people who like to keep uh, journals of the diamond paintings so we get a little sticker that you can peel off and put in your journal so again Magic Boss by Howie Green um, really really bright really nice colours um, really impressed with this one so we get a little sticker you get that with all of the Diamond Art Club um, you don't get that with any other company then the tool kit as I said this is the new kit so I'm expecting to get a cover minder. I hope it's one that I don't have. Um, but we'll find out. So first thing is the tweezers. So we have uh, a set of uh, black tweezers. Sometimes you get them, they are pink to white, so they fade. But uh, this one is black. And we have the Diamond Art Club name uh, on them. The tweezers are very, very good. They are nice and thick, heavy. They're not like the cheap tin ones. Um, if you try using the, the, the cheap silvery ones, 
Um, you find that you have to press really hard to try and hold the drill. Because you press really hard, the drill pops off and you never use them. If you are going to diamond paint and with tweezers, it's definitely better to get a pair like this, the sort of thicker, heavier ones, much more control. They are very, very sharp though. Um, so it comes with a little cap, which you should always keep on if you're not using them and definitely keep them out of the reach of the kids um, that these could be um, or could cause some very serious damage if a kid was to play with them so i would uh, strongly recommend you keep them away from children so i'm looking to see what else there is oops everything's trying to come out at the same time okay we'll just let everything come out so the first thing is washi tape, you get washi tape in the new kits. People use this um, to go around the border of the diamond painting while they're working on it. Uh, on the canvas the glue goes over the edge of the picture and you have a little piece of uh, glue that when you're working on it the edge of your hand can stick to it, fluff can land on it, hairs can land on it, it, end, it can end up looking really grubby. So what people do is they put washi tape over that around the edges while they work and it keeps it nice and clean. So when you finish, you can take this off and the diamond painting just looks really clean. Some people use the washi tape to actually border the picture, depending how it works, uh, how the colours go with the picture you've got. Um, I did Batman and the washi tape I got with that was black and gold, which actually worked, it, it suited the picture. This one, to me, for this picture, isn't bright enough, um, but I don't use it, to be honest. Um, I just use masking tape, um, like the, the tape that painters use, and it does exactly the same thing. I don't, I don't keep the tape on or anything, I don't use it as a decorative thing, but the thing is it comes with the kit, it's not as if you're buying it, so you, you've got it, so you can use that if you want. Then we have uh, the tubs come with uh, pink wax in them so you've got uh, two little hearts Diamond Art Club that is their sort of signature shape uh, they always do hearts for the pink wax most companies do either a rectangle or a square also comes in a little heart shaped box this is new um, so this stops um, dust and hairs and things um, sticking to the wax while it's in storage and it helps to stop it uh, drying out as well because it's it's in this little sealed tub which is good um, we've got a squidgy so we'll have a pen and find it so I don't think I have this colour yet this is a, a blue pen uh, it's sorry, semi transparent has little pieces of glitter in it which matches the squidgy um, I have had uh, a yellow pen with a yellow squidgy, I had an orange pen with an orange squidgy, so it looks like they colour coordinate. In the old kits it was a solid blue pen, um, now we get these sort of semi-transparent ones with glitter in them. So the squidgy slides over the pen. And the idea is that it makes it a little bit thicker, a little bit more comfortable while you diamond paint. Um, people with uh, arthritis may find that a benefit especially. Um, so nice little touch to have uh, the squidgy on it. Then we have uh, these things that are called multi-placers. So the pen itself, it places one uh, drill at a time. But what you can do is if you have an area, um, a lot of one colour, you can use multi-placers, you just push them in the end of the straw, the pen, plastic straw. Um, you fill this little channel with pink wax and you can pick up a little row of drills so you can place a few at a time, speeds things up. If you have a bigger area, you use the bigger one. So then you can have a, this little channel filled again with pink wax and a little row of drills and you can put them all down at the one time instead of doing one 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 so you can make things a bit quicker i don't use multi-placers have never used them i prefer 
just single placing. I listen to music while I diamond paint and for me it's a relaxation and I don't really want to hurry. I don't, I'm not in any hurry to get them finished. I just like working on them, listening to music. So I, I don't use these, but they're there if you want to use them. Then we have the tray. Uh, again, this has been upgraded as well. Um, it's a bigger tray than the sort of standard trays you get from other companies. It has the nozzle on it. It has a little stopper, so you can put the stopper in. So when you're shaking your tray, the drills don't fall out the end. Um, it's a bit wider, clear tray, little gold flecks in it. Um, the big thing, for me anyway, is it has straight edges. So much, much more stable than most other companies. Um, the other companies have angled edges and if you touch them, they flip over. I'm pressing quite hard on this and uh, it doesn't flip. If I push really hard and push to the side, it will. But in general, um, they're very stable. Uh, drills flipping over onto the glue and having to get picked off again is very irritating. It can happen quite a lot, especially when you're just beginning and you forget and you accidentally touch the side. But um, I really like these trays. As I said, they're a bit bigger, so the base is bigger. Square sides, definitely more stable. Much less chance of uh, accidentally spilling drills. So big thumbs up for that. Then we have baggies. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, I did get. It. I haven't even seen this one before. Um, so this is the cover minder and it's a, a blue diamond and blue is my favourite colour, believe it or not. So cover minders, uh, people use these to fold back the clear cover. I'll, uh, I'll show it later if I remember. I know, I know that I did say that I think in my last Diamond Art Club and I forgot <laughs> to actually show how they work. I'll try and remember to do it this time. But um, yeah, I don't have this one. so. Um, it's, it's random what you get in the kits, you never know. So it's a bit like uh, what we called lucky bags when we were kids. You buy a bag of candy and you get some kind of toy, but you don't know what it is until you open it. So it's a bit like that with Diamond Art Club. Some of us just never grow up, but there's nothing wrong with that. So that can go to my collection. Um, I'm trying to see if I can reach some, uh, just to give you an example. This was one I got, very bling. So now I have this one. Um, I also got a round one, the same as the heart actually. And I got a Macron. So you can see that they're quite varied. Um, my wife. I did an unboxing of hers uh, just recently. Uh, she got a blue heart. So you can see that they're quite varied and uh, people collect them. So it's quite nice when you get, uh, you don't get the same ones again and again. So I quite like that. So a little cover minder and that is it. The only thing left is the baggies. Um, I spoke about this before, we get these resealable bags, the drills don't come in resealable bags as standard in the kits, you have to cut the bags open, but they supply resealable bags. The problem is they don't supply enough resealable bags to transfer these colours into these bags, so far, but we'll see. So I always count them, so one, use it do it this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I'm pretty sure the last Diamond Art Club I opened, I got 21, so it varies. Um, the chances of this only having 27 colours, unlikely, but we'll see. I just need to remember that number, 27, so I'll move these out of the way. Uh, 
find space. So the 27, trying to remember that. So that is the, the new Diamond Art Club kit. Nice bits and pieces, uh, really good quality tweezers. Cover minder, nice little extra tray, really good. Um, very few companies do, what well, I would say, decent trays. Um, I really like that one, it's, it's bigger and it has a straight side, which is the most important thing. Then we get a couple of uh, multi-placers. The hearts are in a little box, we get the washi tape. Pretty much standard pen, I mean, there's not much different about that, apart from the colour. And we get the little, uh, the little sticker as well. So now we'll go into the rest and see what we've got. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. So we've got Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Uh, the canvas is in a sealed bag, so it keeps the, the dust off it. So we'll open that up. The drills. So the drills are stored inside the canvas. Pretty sure that's it. So we'll put the canvas to the side and we'll have a look at the, the paperwork first. So we get, yeah, that's, that's nice, really nice. Um, a little thank you for your purchase, a little bit about the company and what's included in your kit three different languages and um, they've also got a scan code um, where they have instructional videos if you're new to diamond painting so that would be a good thing to have a look at it would uh, maybe make things a bit more uh, smooth um, if you're new uh, so, so you've got a better idea of what you're doing um, it can be quite intimidating rolling out a canvas and having all these little drills and you're not really sure what you're doing, so that's, that's a really nice thing to have. Um, step by step instructions again, how to diamond paint. Uh, you're invited to join our VIP Facebook group. As I said, all of the people in that group have bought at least one uh, Diamond Art Club diamond painting. A lot of very friendly people, um, so if you're new especially, um, a good idea to, to join you can always ask for help and people will uh, do their best to, to help answer your questions so uh, then we have tips and tricks so some extra little pieces of information um, that can make your life easier um, if you're just starting out and then we have the app uh, diamond art club have their own app so you can uh, check things look for new kits and stuff on your uh, mobile so uh, if you purchase once you download the app if you make a purchase through your app you get a 20% discount uh, which is a really good deal so 20% off your first purchase through the app so we'll have a look at the key um, quite a bit different from any other company most other companies, if in fact all other companies as far as I know, if uh, if you do get a key, uh, or a separate key I should say, it's normally on a sheet of A4 paper and it's just, uh, just printed. The Diamond Art Club, they give you stickers. So these here are already pre-cut. You can peel them off and put them on your container or your bags or whatever you keep your drills in. So you don't have to uh, try and draw the symbols or write the numbers on your uh, storage, which is a, a good idea. Um, again, for people who like to keep a record of their stuff, um, you can use this. And we've got start date and end date. Again, the details um, of the size and a much bigger thumbnail. So you can uh, really see the picture there. So, um, We've got someone 
sitting cross-legged on top of uh, the happy bus with uh, the Greenpeace sign and um, various multicoloured things all over the place. Um, as I said, I really like bright coloured or brightly coloured diamond paintings and as soon as I saw this it was just like, whoa, that is something different. And then I thought, happy trippy tea. So, put that to the side. And this is the bit that I really wanted to see. Let's look at the colours, man. So, standard style of bag, the drills come in, glue strip along the side, just peel along the side take the drills out. So these are the, the new drills. Uh, Diamond Art Club now manufacture their own drills which are extremely shiny. Um, I found that out when I bought Batman and it had a lot of black and the sparkle of these drills is just something else. So we'll have a look through. I think we've got more than a rainbow of colours in this one. So, the thing is, you can see how vibrant the colours are, and that's what really attracts me to them. Really strong colours, bold colours, and extremely shiny black. Quite a bit of black, more than I expected. And we've got some ABs, Aurora Borealis. These drills have a special coating on them. It makes them almost metallic looking, but they also change colour um, depending how the light hits them. So you can see sort of different colours reflecting off. So I'm seeing purple, blue, green, yellow, red. And that just varies depending how the light hits the drills. So it gives it a really unique um, effect. Some nice blue there and the drills are totally flat on the base they don't have a little dimple and um, you will see dimples a lot of companies have drills that have little dimples in them the diamond art club ones are resin drills and they are very flat um, i always i've said it before but i always feel that if the, the whole base of the drill is touching the glue it's going to give better adhesion i have no reason or no explanation to why because I have done plenty of kits that have a little dimple in the drill and the drills haven't fallen off but I, d I just feel that um, the flat bases are just better simply as that so really nice drills as expected and again I'm just skimming through we've got good old 666 number of lava red that's the official name for this colour and more ABs, some yellow ones this time and some orange ones and that's it so yeah up to the usual standard really really nice looking drills really strong colours nice and flat in the base as well Really looking forward to seeing this one finished. So that's the drills. Uh, as always, really, really good. Uh, I think somebody to put them. I'll do for now. Oh, little bits of plastic. Okay, so now we get to see the canvas eventually, or finally, I should say. So this is it. Multicolored. As I said, I really like uh, bold coloured diamond paintings and I do not think I'm going to get any more bold in this. It's got good chunks of the same colour. I quite like that as well. I like abstract diamond paintings for that reason. You get large areas of the same colour that make them really bold. So it's a bit, a bit too big to uh, see the whole thing. But we've got the bottom here we've got multicolored. Hang on a second, need to move up. 
we've got multicolored flowers at the bottom and we've got some mushrooms i don't know if they've got anything to do with what's happening at the moment but um then we've got our, uh, our camper van very uh, subtly painted and then we come up and we've got someone meditating on the roof and then we come further up we've got a little umbrella we've got the sun and we've got a rainbow and sunbeams coming off really really nice i really like this and i mean i haven't even done it but um yeah this is as far as color goes i think this is definitely going to be number one um i do have i have done some diamond paintings uh, talking about color 46 colors and what did I get? Somebody remind me, was it 27? 27 re resealable bags for 46 colours. Doesn't compute. So anyway, more colours than bags, again. Um, I've never understood that. I just don't know why we don't get 46 bags. And then at least you can put drills in each bag and work from the resealable bags. Again, if you're new and you, you haven't got any storage system, I mean, if you've been diamond painting for a period of time, you probably have. I mean, I have. But I'm always thinking about newcomers. It would be nice to actually have a bag for each colour. Then you could just pour into those bags and work from them and then top them up as needed. You don't need bags big enough for all the drills, just a, a decent size resealable bag um, that you can put. 46 different colours in and then you can set them inside. The side they're all in numerical order and it makes it nice and easy to work I don't know why no company does that anyway um, really really nice really impressed with this it's one of these pictures the more you look at it the more you see um, and I mean it looks bright as it is but once the drills are on this it's going to be you know, a league of its own so we'll have a look at the actual uh, the print, up nice and close. So what we're looking at is how good is the print quality, can we see the symbols, are they double printed, faded, hard to read, no, everything is really really good. We have poured glue so we have the clear cover, if we peel that back. We can see if I tilt it to the light. And I've, I've remembered about the cover minder, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, but you can see that really shiny stuff, that is the glue. And it goes over the edge of the picture, as it should. That way you're always sure that the drills are totally seated on the glue. You don't have part of it sticking off and it's not stuck to anything. So um, the, the glue always goes slightly over the edge. And that's where you put your masking tape or your washi tape along that edge because if you don't you tend to get just lint and um, dust and hair and things stick to that and it makes it look really grubby around the edges so uh, it's a good idea to cover it um, we also get sometimes you can see it these little sections here that look kind of weird, they're not like totally shiny. It's like imprinted into the canvas. First time I saw that, um, I was kind of worried about it, but I found out that it's, it's, it just happens, it's just part of the, the process. Um, it is still very sticky. The drills will stick to it, it doesn't matter. Um, so if you get a kit and you see these sort of things in the glue, don't worry about it, it's fine. So I was going to mention Coverminder before I forget because I did in the last video that I did I said I was going to talk about it and I forgot uh, Where did I put it? Right, okay So this is the, the Coverminder that I got and um, what I'll do is I'll move this up because when I start my diamond paintings I start in the bottom right hand corner So if I was going to go the, the Coverminder route um, I would peel back the cover to open up an area that I'm going to work on. Some people will cut it, which 
probably if I was going to do it, I don't do it this way, but if I was, I would use masking tape and create a grid, and then I would cut along the masking tape. And the reason for that is if you peel this stuff up and try and cut it, it's the tear starts to go all over the place and you can't really control it. So what to do is if you make a grid um, of the sort of size of area you think you would work, so you'd have a strip of masking tape going straight up or washi tape, um, going straight up over the top of this and then cut it into boxes, put on another strip, another strip. So you're basically making boxes and you work on a box at a time. Um, or you can just do it this way where you peel back. So to stop this flipping back over while you're working on it, what you do is your uh, cover minder has a magnet on the back. Actually has two. So there's one glued to the cover minder and then you have another little magnet. What you do is you put this on top of the part that's folded, put your magnet underneath and it holds it. So <laughs> actually blends into the picture but um, that holds this, stops it. You don't have to worry about it flipping back over and getting in your way. So then you can, uh, you can work this area and do what you do, you don't have to finish it in one go. Um, when you're finished, all you do is reach underneath, take your magnet back off, lift this up, flip that over. Even if you have finished the area and there's no glue, I would still recommend putting the cover back over. It stops dust and hairs, pet hairs and things um, from getting in between the drills. So you always want to keep it covered. Um, so that nothing gets in on it. So that's what the cover minders are used for. They hold back the cover while you work on it. So I remembered this thing. So that is it. Um, Magic Boss from uh, Diamond Dark Club. And uh, I think when I work on this one, I will be drinking some happy hippy tea. So that was Magic Bus from Diamond Art Club. Um, I have to say, I think it is my favourite Diamond Art Club uh, and I haven't even done it yet. I just really like it. Uh, the colours are mega bold, um, which is something that, that I like in diamond paintings. I like the fact that it's quite um, blocky. It, it's not like fine, fine detail. So it's, it's like big areas of, well, nearly the same colour because they, they always blend. I mean, Diamond Art Club have always been very good at blending in colours, but it is just the boldness. I mean, that is going to catch your eye as soon as you walk in the room. I mean, you can't not see that. Um, it is just really, really nice. So everything up to the standards that I would expect from Diamond Art Club very very nice canvas um, self flattening I can't remember if I mentioned that basically you just roll it out and if you leave it sitting for a period of time it will just lay down so no messing about trying to get it flat um, it is a thick canvas it is, the back is almost velvet like it is very very different from any other canvas that I've tried and I've now tried diamond paintings from 43 different companies, I think. Um, diamond Art Club is definitely uh, the one to chase. Um, the new drills are exceptionally sparkly. Uh, they produce their own drills now. They don't buy them in. Uh, they actually manufacture their own and it shows. Um, I first noticed it when I got, I think, Batman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Batman was uh, the first one that I got with the new kit and uh, or the new drills, and it has a lot of black in it. And I couldn't get over how shiny they were. Um, they're really, really sparkly. Um, and that's not talking about ABs. That's just the, the normal plain, if you want to call them plain, but they are very, very shiny. So, uh, yeah, I really like them. Um, I can't think of anything else. The, the kit is better than anybody else's, in my opinion. 
comes with washi tape, a cover minder, really good tweezers, really good tray, straight edges, wider than normal, so it doesn't flip over anywhere near as easily as the rest. And to me, that is a big thing. Um, it is very frustrating when you accidentally just tap a tray and you suddenly you've got two or three hundred drills on your glue and you've got to spend time sitting picking them off. Um, not exactly enjoyable. So anything that can help prevent that is a good thing in my book. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, they've also got the little stopper to stop the drills uh, coming out the end when you're shaking the tray. But thinking about it, I, I, I'm not sure that actually makes a lot of difference because you should be shaking the tray from side to side and not up and down, like lengthwise. So the drills should just be going sideways, not up towards the nozzle. But still, um, obviously some people, it, it, they do come out the end of the tray, so that little stopper will prevent that happening. Um, yeah, really, really, you can probably tell, <laughs> really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's, it is the most colourful um, and I haven't even put a drill on it yet. Um, it isn't the most colours, I mean this one here has 90 colours in it, but if you put them side by side and said which is the most colourful, um, it's a no contest. So yeah, really nice, very impressed with this one. Um, and that's it. So that was, as I said, Magic Bus from Diamond Art Club. Double thumbs up. And uh, I think um, I'm going to hold on to the, the Happy Hippie Tree, Tree, Tea, Happy Hippie Tea, uh, until I do this. And I haven't opened the tin. I'm sitting here with it in my hand. So I will be uh, trying this for the very first time when I place my very first drill on this one. Um, never ever done that before. As soon as I saw it, I just thought hippy trippy tea. Uh, I got the name wrong, but um, so I went in to, to explain. I thought I need to explain why I thought that. So I think you can see by the tin um, why I suddenly thought of this when I saw that. When I was in the tea shop though, I started looking at these tins and I thought, yeah, they're nice. There's a lot of different designs and stuff. There was one called the Mermaid, no surprise, but um, it actually had seaweed in it. So I've never had tea with seaweed. They had the Hans Christian Andersen tea. Um, they have hundreds of different teas. So um, don't be surprised if you start to see these tins popping up in the background. Um, but I'm going to wait until I start this diamond painting before I open this and uh, I'll let you know what it tastes like. So that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button. I do have more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons coming up. Um, so if you'd like to catch them, um, please subscribe. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. So yeah, I am very happy with this one and that is it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.